Chapter two, identify the position you want after the position that you're going to apply for. So what I want you to do now is think I've got to aim two positions ahead of where I am now. If you are a sales representative, right, and you want to be the sales manager, you have to aim to be the state manager, okay? You want to put together a case that will advance your promotion two steps, not just one step. So don't just think one step into your boss's position, think two steps into your boss's boss's position or into another position within the company. So where do you find these positions? Well, strangely enough, and a lot of people overlook this, the first place to go and look is the organizational chart. Your business should have a document that maps out exactly where everyone sits in the business, what their titles are, who's responsible to them, and what they're responsible for. And you can actually look at that and say, okay, where do I want to go? Many people want to advance in a company and get a big promotion, but they find, when they look at the organizational chart, that there's just nowhere for them to go because of a corporate structure or because of the size of the business. Now, here's another tip which I want to make, I want to bring up for you to think about. You may not be able to get the promotion that you want in the location that you are. Have you ever thought about relocating to another town, to another state, so that you can get the promotion that you want? Sometimes you might be working in the smallest area of the business that has multiple locations, and if you want that promotion, you're just going to have to move. So think about that one. Do you want to be in middle management of a very large organisation, or do you want to be in senior management of a smaller organisation? Do you want to maximise your income? Do you want to maximise your learning experience? Do you want to maximise uh, your responsibilities? So you really have to think to yourself here, what is going to give me job fulfillment? Is it money? Is it titles? Is it power? Is it responsibility? Is it working for a cause or just making a contribution to something that you actually do feel passionate about? So if there is a specific position in your organization and that position come, becomes open, that's great, right? That's a soft landing. You know what the job is, you've seen people do it, and you want to do it, and that's fantastic. But if there is not a position that's open, then I want you to think about creating one. How do you create a role? All right, think this through. Once you've found the position, you'll need to prove and provide examples that you're qualified to do it. You need to determine the need for a position in a business, especially if it's a new position, where you can improve the day-to-day -day operations, the effectiveness or the efficiency of the company. Now, if you figure out a better way to do your existing job, or you see the need for a new position, don't be afraid to ask your boss about it or to bring it up with even more senior management. Because since you're the one that saw the need, presumably you'll be the best qualified to do the job. So that by identifying that function or responsibility in the organization, you can actually create a promotion for yourself. Now, it may not come with a massive wage rise or a huge change in title, but remember the title of this chapter. You need to identify the, the position that you want after the position that you're going for. The other thing you can do, and this is sometimes overlooked because a lot of people look internally when they're looking for a promotion, is look externally. Find out what your business's competitors are doing. You can turn around and say, hey, they're doing that, we're not doing that, maybe there's an opportunity for me to do it in our business, which could create a position that would give me a promotion. So these days, you can't just wait for a promotion to land in your lap. It doesn't work that way. Most promotions, especially at large companies, require you to go through an interview process and an application process. And remember, when you're doing that, you're probably going to be competing against external candidates. And external candidates will probably be more aggressive in trying to get the job than you will be, because you're already in a safe position and they want to get in. You're already in the door. So 
there's three things that I want to finish off this chapter with which are really important. The first one is please apply for the right position for you. Don't just apply to any position because it comes up because it's going to give you a few more perks or it's going to give you a small increase in your salary. That's important. Secondly, make sure you apply for a position that you are genuinely, genuinely interested in doing and that you are qualified to do. Don't apply for something that you're going to get a wage rights for but you don't really want to do the job or apply for something that you know if you get the promotion you're not going to be any good at it either. And the third thing is, just remember too, you don't have to have all of the qualifications or all of the experience to get the job that you've applied for, but you want to be able to make a good case that if you do get that promotion, that you'll be able to get up to speed really quickly and you'll give it 110% to make sure that you're a success.